Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft and thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is project number two for my Creative Card Series 2018 and it's also a hobby base kit tutorial. So um, I've used just the flowers for this one because I basically started off doing this and then I thought actually I could combine this as with my hobby base kit. So the one I'm going to be showing you is using products from the kit. Um, but basically this is a double stair stepper card. So you open it up and it stands like so and if I bring it to the side you can see there you've got the stair kind of fold on that side and again on this side so it's a double stair stepper card I've made stepper cards in the past and I'll share those links um, but this one I just thought was just really really nice and then you just open it up like a normal card and inside you can write your message and it fits in a five by seven envelope so very very um, convenient and um, yeah absolutely love this one so this one here I was using, this is the Let's Celebrate first edition um, papers on the back here. Um, but like I said, these are the um, little dinky dies that we received in the kit. These faceted gems we received in previous kits. The bumblebee is in the kit um, and then the sentiment's my own um, with the butterfly. So you are going to need, let me just bring in, so this is this month's, um, well, I say this month, we're in July now. The July kit has just gone out. Literally, people are receiving it now. Um, you've got until the 21st of this month to get the August kit. And this is the June kit that I'm using. So this is the Be Happy themed kit. Um, so these are the papers that I've used here, which I've cut down. I've also um, cut down some silver because I'm not sure how I want to put this one together but basically I use the embossing folder that we received and if I just bring in um, something where have I got oh yeah if I just use this green there we go you can see this is the six by six embossing folder we got with all the bees on it and when you cut it and um, emboss it if I bring in these here it's really really lovely look at the effect that's with the green so again, I might cut this down and use this, I'm not sure yet, but it's just, I love it, really, really nice. You know, some embossing folders you do and you just think, hmm, I'm not so sure, but I just, they it's come out really, really well. Um, so I thought I'd try it on the Miri card, and again, you just get a really nice effect. So really, really like the um, embossing folder that we received. So yeah, so I've die cut a few bits and pieces, but basically, um, and then the bumblebees. Um, so I've die cut again three of each because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them um, and then they're the flowers that we got so it's the dinky dies but again I just think when you use the Miri card you really get all the impressions that come out with them so you see you really get to see the detail I used these in last week's card um, now I distressed that one you didn't see all of this detail as much but there you can really pick it up so yeah again really like it on those um, on the Miri card these are silver um, of the um, faceted gems that we got this is again from another kit so you know I am combined in kits here but it's just to show you you know how much you get and they get used you know obviously time and time again so for the main card base you need a piece of 7 by 10 and then for your mats, so this is the main mat on the front. This is two and three quarters by three and seven eighths of an inch. And then you need two that are two inches by one and three quarters and two that are one and three quarters by one and a half. Okay, so I'll do them both. No, that one doesn't seem like the right measurement. Hold on a second. Well, maybe it is. Why do I feel like I've got the wrong measurement there? I think it's that way, isn't it? No, I did do them right. I'm just, <laughs> ignore me. And then you need this strip, which goes along the bottom, which is six and three quarters by three quarters of an inch. Then my little sentiment that I'm putting on top is this one here, which is, let's say, I mean, it's cut from a die set, so it's two and a quarter squared. And then the white one on top is, if I can pick anything up today, um, again, two by two. Okay, now we did get stamps, and I used these in last week's card. They're the stamps that we received, so it's part of that Be Happy um, set by Dovecraft, which matches the papers. Um, but I, do, I did want to do these as birthday cards, and the Don't Worry, Be Happy I've used in last week's um, and I've used these here and so on so check that one out I'll share the links to that if you want to see um, okay so let's get into it so first of all 
keep your scoreboard out, but you just want to do um, a bit of a mark with a pencil first. Let me just grab my pencil. So with the 10 inch side um, facing you, okay, you just want to pop a little pencil mark at one inch and one inch from there and then coming in here so it'll be nine inches and on your ruler it will be nine inches okay actually we don't need to worry about that one ignore that one it's just the one end you need to do it so I'm just gonna get this out of the way for the minute I've got my really crappy template here that you can see where I folded and gone wrong and folded again and finally got it how I wanted it so um, what you want to do now is just lightly just do a pencil mark um, just joining that up okay and then what we want to do is grab your scoreboard again and you are going to with your stylus you want to score but only to no I need to do another pencil mark so you need to do a pencil mark that comes in at I think it was two inches from each side. So, from two inch marker, just pop your ruler in there and just draw a pencil mark just lightly. And then again at five inches, just lightly, like so. Okay, you can just kind of just make out my two pencil marks. As long as you can see them, that's all that matters. Um, then, pop your piece of 10 by 7 and you want the 10 inch side okay I'll just bring it so we're all in there okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to do a score line first of all at the one inch I'm um, sorry at uh, one and a half inches so one and a half inches but just to that pencil line okay and then if it's easier to use your ruler I'm just going to eyeball this and then I can just pick up and do the next score line there. Now if you want, pop your ruler in and you can do like so, then miss the middle section and carry on scoring. So basically all you're doing is just scoring, so that's that one and a half, just that pencil mark, miss the middle and then carry on again. So the next score line that you're going to do is three and a quarter. So again, just down to the pencil. I'll bring in my ruler and then miss the, set, the middle section and carry on scoring. Okay, so again, you can see now what we've got. Then the next score line is four and three eighths of an inch. So one, two, three, four and three eighths. And then again, miss that middle section, carry on. Then the next one is the five and a half. I'm um, sorry, is the five inch um, score line because it's half of the 10 inch um, length here. And this one you're doing in the middle only. So again, with your ruler, and you just kind of hover it down, like so, just so you're in there. And then you'll feel the groove, the little kind of track that your stylist wants to sit in. And that one's at five inches. Okay, then the next one is going to be six and five eighths of an inch. So again, with my ruler, six and five eighths, and again, six and five eighths. And that's the last one that we're doing, okay? So that's all the scoring done. Now what we want to do is some cutting. So you'll need your trimmer for this. So I'm just gonna bring mine in here. And what you want to do is with that pencil mark that you drew right across, you want that facing you, pop this in your trimmer, okay, and line up your trimmer, your kind of track here, with the pencil mark that you've drawn down here, okay. So that will be at two inches, okay, so it'd be two inches in from the right hand side, okay, you can just see two inches there, all right, okay, and then you want to drop your blade down. Now I've slightly gone over my scoring but that won't matter because you won't see it. But you want to pop your blade at nine inches. So along the side of this Fiskars trimmer that I've got, I've got one inch um, uh, you know, increments running all the way down the side here. So at nine inches is where I want to pop my blade down. 
because 10 inches is the width of the card but remember we drew that pencil mark one inch in and that's where you want to start cutting and then you're going to cut all the way down to let me just check what it was on here so that pencil mark so you want to then cut up to that last score line here this score line okay and then you'll have nothing so that was that five inch half um, way then there was that score line, that last one that you done on the two outside pieces. That's where you want to cut up to. So if I pop it on the side here, so I'm starting at nine inches, which is at the bottom here of my trimmer, and then I'm going to go all the way along to there. And that should be on here, coming down, it is three and one, two, three and three eighths of an inch from the top. Okay, but that wherever that score line is, that's what you want to cut to. Okay, then you want to turn your card around and do the same. So this time, pop it in, and again, make sure it's all lined up. And I'm going to start my blade this time at one inch, okay, from the top. So again, that's where that pencil mark came down. So just make sure it's lined up. And then you're going to cut all the way down to that last score line on the right hand side which now in this case is going to be um, on your side of your trimmer here it will be six and five eighths of an inch okay so now if I take that out let's remove that this is what you should have okay then the easiest way now is to fold it all is just first of all just rub out those pencil marks because you don't need any of that anymore that was just our guide and I just remember there was one more score line I didn't think I had to add it in but you do but that's fine we can just quickly bring in our scoreboard and it is that one right at the very bottom because we're going to be scoring down first so you just want to score at one inch just to that cut line Okay, and then again, miss the middle section, and again, do your one inch just to your cut line. Okay, just that one right at the bottom there. Okay, then you want to do some folding. So this middle five inch one, you want to fold up. Okay, just do that one first because it'll help all the rest come together. Then the very bottom one, you want to fold down. So you want to do a mountain fold. Then the next one's going to be a valley fold. So you're going to fold that one up, then the next one, mountain, and then a valley, and then the last one is going to be a mountain fold. And then when that all folds flat, it will give you your 5 by 7 card. So I'm just going to grab my bone folder, and then just go along and just burnish all of those score lines all into place. like so and now when you stand it up that is your double stair stepper card so it's much easier to show when it's not decorated and you can really see now how cool that looks and yeah I think it's brilliant so now it's just time to decorate so this is where I wasn't sure how and what I wanted to use so I've cut these pieces here so I didn't know whether to put these bits on and then have my large piece in the middle like so and then I've got my butterflies or do I just have the silver butterflies and then carry on doing this so I'm going to have a play around now but your smaller squares will fit behind here in these smaller sections like so your bigger squares will go behind and you can see there how you get that nice little frame with the green there all the way around and then that strip will go right along the very bottom like so again giving you all those nice borders and then I've got my sentiment that's going to go in the middle like so and already now you can see just how that's transforming um, and then obviously I'll give you the measurements for the inside piece as well but I'm going to play around now get all your mats stuck down like I've done there and then I'm going to see what I decide to do just a quick one as well, when you are sticking them all down, fold it flat and then stick each one into its section, it's much much easier. Okay, so that's all my mats laid down and you can just see, it really does bring it together, you get to see the frame and the real shape of that card and again I just think it looks 
rather spectacular. I think it's a great fun fold card. So now, like I said, I'm going to decide. What I might do is cut just little bits of the, the bumblebee down. I do want to add this in somewhere. I think what I'm going to do is that green, um, this green embossed piece here, I'm going to frame. I actually might remove this and cut it just so I have some of that there. I know you're not really going to see it, but I mean, you can see there just how great it is, but I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. I might, I might actually do it on the back. Mind you, that's the wrong orientation. I'd have to redo it again or do something with it in the middle. Maybe that would be good. Leave it with me. I will show you what I end up doing with it. Okay, so there is everything stuck down. So I've done the flowers, I'll just bring in the other one. So I've done it exactly the same in terms of positioning, so I just like that layout. Um, I've just, with my heat gun, just popped a little bow at the top there as well. Um, and I've layered up all the butterflies, so the silver is underneath. Um, so again, it does really give it a lots of dimension, which you can see. Now the embossing bit, I'm gonna pop inside. So I'm just gonna open up the card. Watch that little, obviously you won't open it up like this, um, the person who gets it won't open it up like that. But I'm just going to open it up and then I've got this piece that's going to go here so I can write my message and you could stamp something there if you want. And then these two embossed pieces I'm going to put either side. Now although they're not really being picked up that well in the video but I just think it's just a nice little touch. I really like it and it just continues that kind of bee theme um, into the inside of the card as well. Now if you didn't want to do that setup then just the plain piece of card which I've put in here. This piece here measures six and five eighths of an inch by three and one eighth or three should be fine. But I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly stick these pieces down. Okay, so that's all that's stuck down. You can really see now how that picks up. And I just thought I didn't give you the measurements for these pieces. So you need two pieces that measure one and seven eighth of an inch by um, three and one eighth and then the middle piece here is um, four and three quarters by two and three quarters okay and then again just fold it all down once it's all in place it will obviously stay like that now but like I said that fits in your five by seven envelope um, if you don't have that size you can make it on your envelope punch board and um, yeah I think it looks really cool just bring it up again you can see I finished with the gems those flowers over in the kit and I just think that is a really cool card so just bring both of them in there, keep them down flat just so you can see um, what they look like and again this will all be in my blog once, um, sorry once, uh, like I said you've got until the 21st of this month to get August box they're always a surprise, we never know what's going to be coming in them um, and like I said we've just started receiving our July boxes and they are really good so um, if you want to find out more about all those, all the links will be in the description box below and I'll share at the end of this video more unboxing videos just so you can get a feel about the kind of things that we receive. Um, but also I hope you've enjoyed this uh, double step, double stair stepper card um, as project number two of my creative card series. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.